Okay, present yourself. So I'm Mathieu Tembo. I'm a deputy program director for the EV program at Renault. Um, I'm especially the project director for, for Tweezy, which we are presenting uh, in the Web 10 today. And uh, what is it uh, with all these electric cars that you're presenting? What they have? Uh, is, what is special about it, and the way you're going to do to this? Uh, you're going to distribute them. Actually, uh, what we're doing at Renault is really to bring affordable electric cars. That's I would say what's our special about it compared to the competition. So we are bringing at Renault a range of four models, uh, light commercial van, the Kangoo, uh, big uh, family car like the Fluence, a small city car like Tweezy, and a mainstream car, uh, a B-segment car, which is Zoe. Uh, and the main thing about our business model, which is uh, brand new, is uh, here we sell the car and we will rent the battery mainly outside. So you will subscribe for a contract for using the battery and we will guarantee during the duration of your contract that you will have a working battery in, a, in, your, in your car. And what are the price ranges we're talking about? Actually, we, we for example, we announced the, 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 the price for the Kangoo. So the, in France, the, the Kangoo will be sold at uh, 15,000 euros. This is the price of a diesel Kangoo. And every month, uh, the battery fee will be 72 euros which is basically what people uh, put in the gasoline in their car for uh, 1,000 uh, months, uh, 1,000 kilometers in, in, in one month. So really it's affordable, it's not more expensive to, to, to uh, drive our cars, electric car, than to drive uh, uh, conventional cars. But then because you rent the battery, that guarantees that the users are not going to have a problem with the batteries that are not going to be working and they have to deal with them. When a battery doesn't have any more, doesn't take any more power and it, stop, it, starts having auto, it stops having autonomy, what's going to happen? Actually, well, that's, that's uh, the good part of our, 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 our business model is uh, for the customer it's really stress-free because you pay a service for the kilometers, you pay a service for working battery, you don't have to care about what is the age of, the, of your battery, if it's uh, going down or something. You have a contract for a working battery. We, as we know, we take the, the battery financing over a long period, or, or something about 10 years. So we take into account the first life of the battery when it's run into the car. It's about six, eight years, depending on the usage. And then we take also into account the second life of the, of the battery, where basically we will repack the battery for stationary use. People at home want to uh, uh, have solar panel and want to store uh, electricity. And also we take care of the recycling. So really, it's a business model where we finance over, over a long period the battery, and basically the first customer doesn't have to pay an extra price to go to electric. They we pay a reasonable fee every month because we we're taking this uh, new business model. And then uh, what about the charging? Because these cars, as far as I see them, especially the PC, are very uh, city cars. And because of the autonomy they have, uh, are going to be used mostly for short distances. But the people in the cities don't have garages. They don't have where to charge the car. What's going to happen with that? Actually, as we know, we have a very strong strategy to partners, to, uh, to find partners in every country, partnership with you know, many utility cities, uh, private uh, parking lot uh, owners, and we have a strong strategy to make them uh, find the right business model to install charging spots on curbside, in parking lots, so people will actually get uh, charging spot in the street to charge their car and even what we are doing inside the, the vehicle is we'll be able for example to book a charging spot in advance from your car to assure you when you arrive somewhere you can park and you can plug your car. So that's part of the reassurance we're, we are putting in the car through the HMI, through the navigation system to make sure that you always find a car, uh, a place to park your car and to charge it. And uh, when is it that you expect to launch all the electrical cars in Spain? In Spain, it will start uh, mid 2011. Uh, we, will, we will go. Uh, we will go in a, basically. Yes, we will go basically in Spain uh, with Kangoo uh, and Florence uh, from uh, next year. Uh, the Spanish government put a lot of incentives uh, for this kind of car, so it's really a great move. We have uh, partners uh, like uh, Acciona. Uh, to put also infrastructure to make some, some tests uh, with uh, charging spots in the street. 
really we have something uh, very uh, 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 the entire ecosystem of the electric vehicle ready for for Spain for next year. And Twizy will be produced in Valladolid, uh, especially. So it's it's kind of a Spanish product. And uh, we hope also by end of uh, next year and end of 2011, we'll be able to sell Twizy as well in in uh, Spain uh, Spanish uh, cities. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you.